French fries. No fast food meal would be complete without it. Like your stepdad, who's actually way nicer than your real dad. They are essential, but always take a back seat. Today, on this channel, we go to the king, Matt King, to decide this potato predicament. We've seen him challenge his taste buds in countless mukbangs, making the audience question if he's a passionate food connoisseur or just someone too cheap to pay for his own lunch. Yum, 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 yum. With helpers, Mike, the vegan Jew chefer, and Natalie Maraduena's official photographer, Todd Smith. So squeeze the ketchup, dab the ranch, and buckle the f in. Because today, we're deciding who's got the world's best french fries on Matt King's Ultimate French Fry Bowl. Guys, welcome to Matt King's Ultimate French Fry Bowl. Oh! You guys wanted this. And today we're gonna be picking who has the best french fries in the world. Isn't that right, Matt? That's right, Jason, and we have a lot of really good competition. I don't know what to expect or what fries we're gonna be tasting here today, but. You guys have requested that we do this blind. I don't like doing it blind. I like to talk about the brands as we go, but today we're gonna try something. We're gonna try them blind. We're not guessing what they are. We're just picking which one is the better That's one. That's right. Okay, Matt. <laughs> Matt is the ultimate decider and his helper today, Mike Sheffer. Also, Todd will be Matt's other helper. Robert Todd has a new podcast coming out very soon that you can go check on his channel. Talk about their relationship too, how Todd and Matt met each other. I liked his poetry. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I did. He wrote really creative captions. These two, we have these two, and we have these two, and we have these two. Our first plate of fries! Yay. They look so similar. Yeah. Like, I thought this was going to be easy where we would be able to identify them. Can, have you seen Josh Peck and, uh... Oh, the uh, fries are getting cold! Okay, let's do it. Oh my First bite, I didn't know it's gonna get so heated. <laughs> this is really good. I think I already know what this one. It never fails, and it always brings me joy. It's a little nostalgic too. It tastes like my childhood. You okay. think you know what it is? What brand it is? I think that's McDonald's. Ooh. Now this one has Ooh. authentic cuts. There's some darker edges to it. <laughs> Matt's great in the mukbangs. I think I, I know what this one is. I think this is Carl's Jr. You're right. It's Carl's Jr. I think this is McDonald's Your and face. that's Carl's. Jr. You want to have a word off camera? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Is he some kind of french fry savant? I don't know. <laughs> How did he do that? What the and Todd, Todd knew it too. Oh my god. Do you need to change the format? I, I, I guess so. I like the feeling this one gives me. Actually, I'm going okay, to Okay, there we go. Woo! Because you're gone. Wow! Wow, that's insane. Who won? <laughs> wow. All right, all right, guys. Ooh. Round two. Round two. Let's wow. see who it is. Oh, oh. wow. I don't recognize these. I do recognize these. Shepherd? I think these, hold on. No way. If he can, he can there's choose. no way you're gonna pick the brand. It's unreal. It's like a beautiful mind, you know, with Russell Crowe. Okay, so I may get this one wrong. I think these are Burger King. Oh my God. Wait, they choose your fries in right? Yes. Burger Kings are really crispy and thick like that. Can this, I love. <laughs> Unbelievable. This Wait. is the biggest hit on your channel since the lie detector test. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's? Is it Wendy's? My preference is this one. Yeah, these are really sturdy. They, like, look at that. Yeah, they retain their shape. Not that much flop. Uh, like, this one, like, come on. Ooh. Mm. Like my Wait, like <laughs> Alright, so this is the winner. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Great. This was Wendy's. Jeez. Oh, I was right. They're not, I did not taste the sea salt. Okay. We're doing these two right now. This is round three. Here. There's a curly fry in there, and the only place that usually sells curly fry hey, box. <laughs> is Jack in the Box. So this is Jack in the Box. They always get their curly fries mixed with their regular fries. This you one, that, they you? serve them in a big brown paper bag, and that's five guys, burgers, and fries. Oh my god, you're like a fast food detective. That's mm. insane. I mean, the guy's unbelievable. That's a Jack. Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box has really good like sizing, but I'm gonna have to go with the five guys. Okay. Because the thickness is very nice. There we go. Nice. Right, and then I'm on the you. final decider, yep. five guys. Really? Five Definitely. stars for five guys. Okay, round four happening right here. You look like you're a ring bearer at a wedding. We've like, got these two oh, going head okay. to head. <laughs> here we go, we're off. They, the guys have already said that this is Chick-fil-A, right? Yeah. You really got a substantial bite with a waffle fry. Waffle I don't fry. care for waffle fries. Really? No. It's like a regular fry for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. You have any syrup? Maple? <laughs> <laughs> waffle 
Oh, oh, oh I got it. Got to go with waffle fry. All right, over to Todd, the second helper. Yeah, the other, the other fry on the other side is just bland. Now to our fry savant, Matt King, who's been able My to guess every French fry up till now. Well, okay, as a guess, uh, yeah. I mean, for certain, this is Chick Fil A. That fat burger, maybe, but because fat burger is like one where you like. It's not enough for one. You have to have like ten three of them. Chick Fil A one. All right, here we go. We're going to the semi hang on, hang on. We're going to the semifinals. This is so exciting. Wow. All right, let's take a look at our bracket. We've got four teams left. We've got Carl's Jr., Five Guys, Burger King, and Chick Fil A. Right now, we're going to do Carl's Jr. versus Five Guys. Let's go. We're in the final four. The tension's on. Oh wow, Carl's and that's Five, five guys. guys. Yeah, Carl's versus Five, five guys. guys. Yeah. yeah. Not a lot of talk right now as these three try to decide the you best French fry. This is world. restaurant quality. Mm -hmm. Like this is like a, a nice steak restaurant. If you got like a steak and fries, hand cut. There's some deliberation from the judges right now, and this is very tense, very serious. All right, let's get back to the the, the task at hand, guys. Okay. All right, Mike, you're the helper. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going with five guys. I think they might be my top choice, but we'll have to see if compared to uh, the remaining top tier people. Awesome, Todd. I'm gonna go with the underdog. I'm going Carlos. Ooh. Four parties. Ooh. Well, sorry, I'm the final decision. Yeah, no sh That's right. Um, five guys, burgers, and fries. Wow. to the finals, beating Carl's Jr. Oh my god. Jay, how much does the, the winner win? Uh, it's $25,000. You're donating money to the fast food chains? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's sick. Our East Coast bracket's wrapping up right now. Get excited. Yeah. We've got Chick-fil-A waffle fries. I don't even think we need to taste these again. And Burger King. Don't waste the calories. Don't waste the, don't waste the calories. That's fine. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go with those. Wow. Taste. Oh, drama. Wow, that is a big change. Over a waffle fry? No. The experience of having a waffle fry. There's no experience with these. Well, you're I'm... saying that you want to send Chick fil A Boo! to the finals. Yes. Is that what you're saying? To, to be the best French fry in the world. Jason, that's exactly what I'm oh saying. Oh my god. I have to respect it. Ah! Here we go. Who's in the wow. Fire? It is Five Guys and Chick-fil-A. It's Five Guys versus Chick-fil-A. Oh, Are you guys ready? This is a tough one, man. Let's do it. I, I don't know what decision I'm gonna make. <laughs> you really don't. Guys, we have our two finalists right here, the best french fry competition in the world. Right now, we're gonna plate them, we're gonna put them down. The boys are ready. We have Chick-fil-A from- Come on, give me a fry. The West Coast right here, very popular, not open on Sundays. And we have Five Guys. Sort of a newer fast food chain. They didn't have it when I was growing up, but it's certainly, it's uh, made a run here today in Sherman Oaks, California. The West Coast seed? You should, you should like. And the East Coast seed. You want me to mix them up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gotta say, Go ahead. I, I, I feel for Matt. This is a tough decision. You can really taste the potato mm -hmm. with a Five Guys. Like, and that's a fresh potato. So what if this breaks up Mike, Mike and Matt? Yeah, are you nervous about that? No, I wouldn't care. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is it. I think we're going to upset a lot of people here today. But I want to give a thanks and a shout out to all the fries that came this far and all the ones we did eliminate. Let's go over to Helper Todd. Helper Todd's going to give his choice right now. I've been thinking long and hard about this uh, decision. Mom, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to choose Chick-fil-A. Whoa! Oh. Um, I'm going to have to go with five guys. Wow! Well, I don't know if that's helping okay. Matt King or hurting him, but his two helpers have spoken and given him two different choices. And now, for the final decision from Matt King. How much of the helper's opinion matters? It absolutely doesn't, I don't. I said it in the first round when I first tasted it. I haven't tasted this fry in a really long time. Um, I said five stars for okay. five guys. Wow! Wow. Jason, thank you for having you did a great me, job. guys. It was an honor, God, please. Job. I can't believe it. Mike, thank you so much. All right, five guys it is. Thanks, guys. Wow. Now what? Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew.
feel to be paid to cannibalize your own channel with Jason ripping off your idea of doing food stuff? Ooh. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm sorry. Joe is the only one who can do food stuff. Yeah, everyone has got really, I think this is a pretty different idea. <laughs> I, I'm not, for one, I'm not in a hot car. Oh, bring up the hot car. Oh, a hot BMW. Yeah, in case ideas. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you kidding? You want to do a mukbang at 9 a.m.? In case ideas? Yeah. You want to eat cheeseburgers at 11 o'clock on a Sunday? Hey, you're projecting. Hey, hey, on Saturday, instead of spending time with your kids, you want to drive to Pasadena and try Jollibee? <laughs> this guy made me hike! He made me hike Fryman to eat for a mukbang last week. They, see, they don't know because they didn't watch it. But it was, it was torture. 